Hi everyone, welcome to Dr. Chan's Minor Ailments Forum today. Now, um, basically, several weeks ago, I did a video on whether you can dye your hair when you're pregnant, and uh, one of my friends, Marta, saw that, and she said, oh, could you do a video on postnatal care? Well, I, I must start first by saying that she recently given birth to a lovely baby girl, so congratulations. So I thought it probably would be a good idea to talk about pelvic floor exercise after you've, be you've given birth, because I think that this is very important thing to talk about and in fact I know that quite a, quite a lot of us are not doing it um, after they've given birth. So um, let's start off talking about what is pelvic floor first. So you can imagine at the bottom of your um, pelvis, let's say the um, front of the pubic bone to the back of your spine, you can ha you have a, a sheet of muscles and ligaments that support all your organs from above. And the main three organs that these sheets of muscles and ligaments are supporting are uh, the bladder, the uterus, and the and the bowels. So normally, if you're not pregnant, you might not even notice that you're using these pelvic floor muscles. However, at one point you will be, is if you are holding off to uh, try not to wee or um, opening bowels, then you might be using this muscle to prevent that happening. Okay, so while you are pregnant or um, after you've been giving birth, um, what, what the problem is, you put quite a lot of stress onto uh, this link of muscles, um, even from the first second you're carrying the baby, because the baby getting bigger and bigger and putting more stress onto the muscles. And while you're giving birth, you push and push and push, and these muscles tend to get weakened. And um, you might think, God, I've only just given birth you know, a few days ago, I really don't feel like doing any exercise. Now, the name exercise is a little bit misleading because you don't have to run around to do that. You can do that anytime, anywhere, even when you're sitting down. And um, we normally recommend, if, if possible, to start the um, pelvic floor exercise as soon as you can because by doing so, number one, you improve the blood supplies to the, to the muscles and a nearby area and in fact it actually helps to uh, promote healing, especially if you have to have a cut down below or um, you know, bruising and stuff like that, exercise will be good for you uh, to improve the circulation. And number two is, um, by doing that, you actually prevent yourself uh, from getting, um, for example, incontinence, especially stress incontinence when you're a little bit older. And in fact, number three, if you start doing these exercises now, uh, it would give you a um, less less of a problem uh, in, in future pregnancies because your muscle will be strong enough to support further babies. So these are the importance of doing exercise early. So let's talk about how to do it exactly. It's not rocket science. I think that most of us know how to do it anyway, but I'm just going to recap quickly of how to do it. So um, at the beginning, you might want to pace it slowly. You don't want to um, push far too hard because you only just given birth. So you know you, you need to reserve your energy. Now uh, what you can do is you can do it uh, sitting down in a normal chair and um, you take a big breath in then while you're breathing out you gently squeeze your pelvic floor muscles and how to do this basically is um, it's just emerging that you're trying to stop yourself weeing midstream so you just hold and if you can hold you know from from five to ten seconds that'll be great ten seconds would be ideal in one go then you um, breathe out and you relax the muscles and you do it again Okay, same same instruction, but um, I normally would recommend doing it several times a day, maybe two three times a day, and uh, each time you do about ten to um, fifteen squeeze if you can, uh, and see how things go. And at the beginning, obviously, if you've been literally just given birth, you might not feel any effect when you are doing these exercises, but don't be despaired because if you keep on doing it, you'll feel that you can hold a muscle for longer. So maybe at the beginning, when you first try to do the um, perfect floor exercise, you can only hold uh, the muscle for about uh, a few seconds. But that's okay because you're gonna build up, build up on it anyway. So you're gonna keep trying and eventually, your aim is to be able to hold the muscle as in to squeeze the muscles uh, for about uh, 10 to 15 seconds uh, 
in each time and you do it um, 10 times in each cycle and do two or three cycles in, in a day. And as I said, you can do it anytime. You can do it when you're feeding your baby or even when you are um, putting your feet up and relaxing. So these are the you know instruction and I hope that you can start trying to do it now it's never too late if you you know only given birth a, a few weeks ago and you haven't done it maybe you, you want to try it now because obviously uh, you get a lot of benefit from doing it as soon as possible so I hope that this video is useful for you and stay tuned there'll be more useful information coming your way take care bye bye